I recently stopped in to visit Tim at North Country Legends Taxidermy in Gladstone to see what new deer he had hanging on the walls. While I was there, I met up with Michigan commemorative buck scorer Dave Bonsick. He gave me the quick lowdown on scoring antlers. My name is Dave Bonsick. I'm from uh, commemorative bucks of Michigan, and I'm an official measurer. There are a, a number of measures in the UP. If someone wants to go on a website, they can, they can go on a commemorative bucks website and get the numbers of the measurers. There are several measurements that are taken, uh, length of tines, length of the main beam, and the, cir the, the, the circumference around the horns. Points are measured along the outside edge of it from the point to that imaginary cutoff line level with each side of the antler. You could take a pencil and mark the, uh, the horn or something straight and get that imaginary cutoff line level with each side of the antler. That constitutes your length. The more perfect the configuration, the more points you get. And if there are uh, oddities like this little, little point here, this would be a, a counted as a point. However, there's nothing matching on the other side. So um, it would actually be a deduction. It would be a one inch deduction. For example, if these, these outside beams had, were, were an inch difference in length, that would be a deduction from the total score. Then you would take the diameters. Now there's always four diameters that are taken on, I mean, circumferences that are taken on a, a, a set of horns. And it's always the narrowest circumference. If it was an eight pointer, then uh, there is still four diameters, one here, one in the middle here, one here, and the last circumference measurement is at a point halfway between the end of the antler and the midpoint of this, of this uh, uh, the last point. To get a good rough green score, you wouldn't even have to worry about the deductions. Just take the, uh, the circumference at, at the four points, at the four points on the, uh, uh, on the antlers, and the length of the points, the beam, outside beams, and the inside spread. Then you would get a good rough idea of what a green score actually is, a green score being prior to the 60-day drying period. Commemorative Bucks puts out a, a Buck Facts magazine if you join. It's a $20 membership per year and then you're, all your measuring is free and also the registration uh, to get it in the record book and they send you a nice certificate and everything that you can uh, put on your wall. And also there's a big book. It shows by county all the uh, records, uh, all the inches measured uh, for deer, bear, elk, and that's available for $20. That's put out on a biennial basis every couple of years they put that out.